Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God, is the Revelator once again. And hoping the grace and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ is with you until the end of time. We meet once again in the ongoing series. And I'm praying that you are being empowered. You are being informed relevantly. And you are being given the knowledge, the wisdom, and above all, the grace and mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are coming from two different presentations inside the series, The Central Intelligence of Darkness. And I gave you two characters. Two characters. And the first character in the first presentation was followed by the second character. And those two characters that we presented in the first presentation, the part one in the central intelligence of darkness and the part two, they are characters that defined a spirit of darkness operating undercover in the intelligence unit of Lucifer the devil. And I want to present the Central Intelligence Part 3. And inside the Central Intelligence of Darkness Part 3, I'm taking you into the book of Acts. In the book of Acts chapter 13 verse 2. In the book of Acts chapter 13 verse 2, as they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate for me Barnabas and Saul for the work I have called them for. There came a time in the church of Antioch where the Holy Spirit said, Separate for me Barnabas and Paul. And, and Barnabas and Saul, who later became Paul, are separated as per the assignment that they had been given by the Holy Spirit. And when they had fasted and prayed and laid their hands on them, they sent them away. Can you imagine a man that is as great as Paul was laid hands in the church in Antioch by men that we have never read about so that you understand what mentorship is and the men that were in Antioch is not even Ananias who prayed for Saul who later became Paul so they being sent forth by the Holy Ghost departed unto Celestia and from there on they sailed to Cyprus and when they got to Salamis they preached the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews and they had also joined to their minister now I need you to understand when they arrived in, in Salamis the scripture says that they preached the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews not in their synagogues in as much as they were preaching Jesus, the scripture says they were preaching the gospel in the synagogues of the Jews, yet the synagogue belongs to Jesus, the same Jesus whom Paul was preaching, and Barnabas. And when they had gone through the Isle unto Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew whose name was Bar Jesus. This is where I present the part three segment of the central intelligence of darkness. The scripture is now able to tell us that this man was a false prophet. Why? After the findings. But my study is before the findings. Why before Paul met this man? The mystery about this man who was called by Jesus is that but Jesus is coming after Jesus. 
He has already ascended to heaven. But Jesus is coming after Jesus. He has already warned the disciples that many false Christs shall come in my name. But Jesus is coming in the very same dimension, in the very same city where Paul wants to preach a genuine Jesus that has already ascended to the highest places where his throne is located. And the scripture is saying, this man was a sorcerer. In the first segment, I gave you a character who was Simon the sorcerer. I explained to you, to those that listen to the part one of the central intelligence of darkness, I explained about Simon the sorcerer who disguised himself as one that was a great man of God and they defined him as the great power of God. But the scripture and the narration says he had previously practiced sorcery. That was the profession of Simon the sorcerer. And I explained in part two about Judas Iscariot who later betrayed Jesus. And Paul is meeting a man that calls himself by Jesus. When Jesus has already ascended, when Jesus has already warned about false Christ, Paul has entered a city and he has people that he wants to minister unto about Jesus. And he finds a man that is called by Jesus, assigned by Lucifer the devil from the ranks and the realm of the secret intelligence of darkness, the central intelligence. What it means is that, Paul, you have a gospel that you want to preach in this city. But whatever gospel that you are going to preach in this city, you, you are going to present the name of Jesus. And if the people in that city, they are going to be very confused. Why? Because there is a man already that calls himself by Jesus. And the reason why he is called by Jesus, it is the deception of Lucifer the devil. Lucifer is already marketing other Christs that are not Jesus. And the reason why Lucifer is marketing other Christs that are not Jesus is because Lucifer is already marketing his own type of Jesus under the central intelligence of darkness. Paul has arrived in the city. The first thing is that he's preaching in synagogues that belong to Jews. And now he meets a false prophet who is a Jew again. And being a false prophet, he is a Jew. And the Jews, they are the same that sold out Jesus. And the Jews are in charge in that city. And Paul wants to minister Jesus to a certain deputy of that country who was named such as Pilas, a prudent man who called for Barnabas and, and Paul and desired to hear their gospel. But how is such as Pilas going to hear anything? While well, it's in that same city there is by Jesus, a man that also claims to be Jesus. This is what the central intelligence of darkness is initiated in these last days. You shall hear many mentions of the name of Jesus and you assume that many are following Jesus until you understand that the central intelligence of darkness is deployed its own Jesus. I remember in a delivery session, I exposed this matter so that you understand that if Lucifer disguises himself as an angel of light, you should understand that Lucifer in as much as he was formerly called a morning star, he understands light very well, but he does not follow it. So he, he knows how to trap Christians. He knows what type of demons to send the demons of divinity, familiar spirits, 
all those the spirits that operate inside the agency of the central intelligence department the central intelligence of darkness hated by lucifer and this man represents a spirit of such nature by jesus now the trouble is that paul wants to preach the real jesus to such as palace and this such as palace a prudent man who's also a a reputable man a deputy of that country also wants to hear the gospel but how is such as palace going to hear the gospel of jesus when there is already by jesus standing in front of paul's way now but listen to me his name was elamas the sorcerer for so is his name by interpretation he actually had a name elamas by interpretation and i still wonder how it became by jesus but for whatsoever reason the name by jesus is just there to decline to challenge the name of the real jesus the name of the real power and the men that have came in this city in that city they are marketing the name of the real jesus and this sorcerer who named himself by jesus was now standing in the way of paul you see where the trouble is coming paul can no longer do the assignment that he was sent why because this man is also marketing himself as jesus while Mr. Paul is trying to market the name called Jesus, the level of deception that is there is that such as Pilas can end up discrediting Paul who is marketing the real Jesus. And the scripture says, but Elemas the sorcerer for so is his name by interpretation with his to Paul seeking to turn him away he was seeking to turn away not only paul but seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith meaning between paul and by jesus there's the deputy in the mickey here the deputy is hearing paul preaching the name of jesus and the deputy is facing a man that is called by jesus while mr paul is preaching the name jesus meaning that there is a confusion that is now happening there that is what the devil does right now we have many people that are just preaching the name of jesus there's nothing wrong with that but in the midst of that name being preached you start having other characters that are preaching that name in a spiritual distorted manner of information they are preaching things that are not under the foundation of the gospel of jesus and they are causing people to become twice hell candidates using the name of jesus and you start wondering if the name that is being used is the same name and they are able to win souls to their dark activities using the name of jesus which is not the genuine name of jesus why because it can only become the genuine name of jesus if it is marketing the power that is inside jesus by jesus does not represent jesus in heaven by jesus does not represent the character of jesus by jesus is a false prophet by jesus is a false christ by jesus is not the jesus that is being preached by paul now paul you have an assignment to cancel this by jesus he's not representing the kingdom of light this by jesus paul is representing the central intelligence of darkness and the intelligence that by jesus is using is that he comes in the name 
that is almost similar to the name of the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, yet he is not. Then Saul, who is also called Paul, who later became Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him. I have demonstrated this in different deliverance sessions. Paul got frustrated. Paul got pissed off and said, what is this nonsense? I have come here to market the name above all names and I am finding this character that is called by Jesus. And he just set his eyes. Paul set his eyes on this man, on this false prophet, on this false Christ, on this agent of the central intelligence of darkness. He set his eyes. And as Paul set his eyes, he spoke words and he declared and said, all full of deception and all mischief, you child of the devil, you son of Lucifer, you agent of the central intelligence of darkness, the man of God, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked at bar Jesus, setting eyes, and bar Jesus started trembling under the power of one that is filled by the Holy Spirit. And Paul says, you enemy, of all righteousness will you not cease to pervert the right ways of the lord paul is frustrated and is angry i've never seen the anger of the lord and he's saying how can you pervert the right ways of the lord you enemy of righteousness you spirit that is distorting the gospel of jesus christ you agent under the central intelligence of darkness you familiar spirit, you lying spirit, will you not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? And now behold the end of the Lord, the Lord, the genuine Jesus is upon you and you shall not, not see the light. You shall be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. And immediately after Paul had spoken, by Jesus was struck with blindness immediately at that very point after the man of god had spoken and immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness and he went about seeking some to lead him by the end do you hear what fell upon him immediately at that very particular moment it was a mist followed by darkness why because he was an agent of darkness it may be possible that this man was also presuming that he is used by jesus not knowing that the spirit that was inside him was a spirit an undercover demon from the central intelligence of darkness but as paul spoke as he saw the mist, as he saw darkness, and he was blinded. From that very moment, such as Paulus, the deputy, he knew who was the real Jesus. For Jesus has sent his own servants, the genuine servants that represent the realms of Jesus, the genuine servants that represent the deep undercover of the kingdom of heaven then when the deputy saw this and what had happened he believed and being astonished he gave his life to jesus christ at the mention and at the declaration of the words that had been spoken by paul child of god i'm here to present the classified, the undercover, the central intelligence of darkness in the name of Jesus.